Do you think it's impossible to not eat meat even for just one day? Hi, my name is Malia and today I'll be talking about how and why one should go vegan for a certain period. So since a majority will eat meat, imagine how many animals are slaughtered just to satisfy that demand. A lot. However, there is a solution to reduce the amount of animal slaughter. What is it you may ask? Going vegan, which according to the Vegan Society's article, Definition of Veganism, on their website, a vegan is one that doesn't eat meat, dairy, eggs, honey, or anything from an animal. Now in this speech, I will explain the issues with eating meat, the alternatives an average vegan consumes, and what one can do to experience the vegan lifestyle. So as a vegan for four years and counting, I am living proof that doing a vegan diet is possible. All right, other than saving an animal's life, what is wrong with eating meat? Well, according to a 2018 statistic by Tim Whitnall and Nathan Pitts from the Australian government's Department of Agriculture, an average US individual will consume almost 120 kilograms of meat or 265. 4.5 pounds of meat per year. Wow! However, if we reduce the consumption of meat by going vegan, we could reduce the demand for meat, which would save so many animals' lives. According to Stein Brewers on his blog post, One Day Vegan, going vegan for one day can save an animal almost one week of suffering from in the slaughterhouse in captivity. They can also save 0.6 kilograms of food, 1,000 liters of water, and reduce 2 kilograms of carbon dioxide emissions. All right, Malia, since I can save an animal from one week of suffering, what can I eat instead of meat? Eliminating meat from an animal products from your diet isn't as bad as one might think. There are plenty of alternatives other than meat and animal products available. Stated on the Vegan Society's Definition of Veganism article on their website, a vegan diet is very diverse and includes all vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, and beans. Wow. And also grains. Oh my gosh. Now, just because we're eliminating meat and animal products doesn't mean we have to eliminate flavor and the enjoyment of food in general. On vegan.com's article, Vegan meat, burgers, deli slices, hot dogs, and more on their website. Brands like Tofurky and Gardein create and sell plant-based foods that look and taste like the meat product that most of us are familiar with. If these are inaccessible, vegan.com also includes cheap plant-based proteins like tofu, tempeh, beans, seitan, and TVP or textured vegetable protein. For milk, blogger Angela Lydon from Oh She Glows on her post, Vegan How To, Replacing dairy milk, she includes soy milk, almond milk, rice milk, coconut milk, quinoa milk, and flax milk. Now, to satisfy the need for calcium, which dairy milk is rich in, when doing, going vegan, look for plant-based milks that are fortified with calcium, like the Silk brand, and other nutrients. Along with beverages, there's also dairy-free ice cream, cream cheese, cheese, coffee creamer, etc. Now you might be asking, if a majority of us were to go vegan right now, wouldn't the cows overpopulate? Allow me to paint a picture of the animal population if a majority went vegan. So based on Paul Allen's article, what would happen if everyone went vegan, a majority of farmers turned to intense breeding to increase the animal population to satisfy the demand for meat. What? However, if a majority of us were to give up the consumption of meat, Farmers would be discouraged from the intense breeding, which would maintain the animal population and no overpopulation of cows. Now going vegan can also improve the health of an individual. Based on a study that the Mayo Clinic did with 70,000 volunteers, those that followed a vegan diet reduced the risk of cancer. And based on other studies that the Mayo Clinic did, those that did a plant-based diet reduced their risk of cardiovascular diseases. Now that we know the alternatives and the impacts of going vegan, what can we do right now? First option is to try going vegan for at least one day eating your vegan versions of your favorite foods. If you like eating out, download the app Happy Cow 
to find the best vegan, vegetarian, or restaurants that have vegan options. As a college student at Embry-Riddle, request, start requesting vegan food or food items at one of the dining services that are on campus. Like at Boundless, start going to the wild mushroom and or garden toss or use the and use the soy milk and almond milk dispenser that they have. Order the veggie or impossible protein option at Cadoba or request the impossible burger at late night. And at the refueling station, you can buy the soy milk cartons, the veggie and hummus tray, and the veggie sandwich. There's also a club in the making. Um, although it's not official, you can follow them at ERIU underscore Beagles on Instagram. If you make the decision to go vegan for one day, remember that you're saving a lot of the animals' lives. If you still feel uncomfortable, you now know that a vegan diet isn't limited and that you could one day try a vegan item for one of your meals one day. Thank you.